Hi, this is Manmad. Welcome back to my channel. Now we are going to discussing about determination of critical control points. Has a principle number two. There are many tools to determine the significant hazard is a critical control point or not. So, like the, this is one of the one of the tools, CCP decision tree or risk 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 analysis, risk assessment matrix. That is also another tool. So let us have a look about CCP decision tree. Here we have taken two products. One is raw IKF frozen scombroid fish fillets. Okay. And receiving of the materials, receiving of the scombroids wool from the harvesting vessel. From the harvesting vessel. Yes. Raw middle receiving stage we have taken. Scombroids. Raw middle receiving stage. Let us have a look. Does this step involve a hazard of sufficient risk and severity to warrant its control? A trauma receiving stage. Yes. It means scombroids. No, if temperature abuse after harvest or during transit or before receive temperature, time and temperature can abuse the formation of histamine will lead to the significant and severity risk to the consumers. So, this step is S. So, sufficient and severity. And second step, does a control measures for the hazard exist at this step, ramen receiving stage? For scombroid fishes, yes, control is existing at ramen receiving stage. What are the controls? Yes, taking a time and temperature control record of the Harvester vessel record. Harvest vessel record stating that the time and temperature and they have to ensure that they have maintained chill condition until delivery to the supplier below 4 degrees centigrade. So, that is what the harvest record, vessel record stating that the temperature is below 4 degrees centigrade maintained. So, does a control measures for the hazard exist at this step? Yes. We have to verify the harvest records and we have to take the declaration also and we have to make injury during transit also they have to maintain proper icing controls exist at this step. That is why at trauma receiving stage histamine is the CCP. It's uh, histamine is the CCP. If you maintain the cold chain histamine formation will be prevented. It's a it's the CCP where the significant hazard can be prevented. That's a good example. And now, one more uh, product we will take uh, for your easy understanding. Now, let us take another product to check with the CCP decision tree. So, another product is cooked frozen aquacultured. Another product is cooked IKF frozen aquacultured streams. So, we have taken raw metal receiving stays. What are the significant hazards at raw metal receiving stage? Pathogen contamination and growth is a significant hazard at raw metal receiving stage. And chemicals are aquaculture drugs. And the third one is allergen. These are the significant hazards which are identified at raw metal receiving stage for aquaculture streams. The product is cooked frozen aquaculture streams to be eaten as a raw. So that is a product description. Let us have a first question. Does this step involve a hazard of sufficient risk and severity to warrant its control? We have taken pathogen growth and contamination. Yes. First step, first question is yes. Because at harvesting site, poor sanitary practices may chances of contamination of pathogen contamination. And during transit, pathogen growth also may occur. So, we have to make sure transit control, layerized packing and upon receiving the material, temperature also should be checked and layerized packing we have to ensure from the transit control. So, the controls, so this is the significant hazard. The first question is S and the second question, does a control measures for the hazard exist at this step, pathogen growth? Yes, control measures at raw metal receiving stage exist for pathogen growth. Not only raw metal receiving stage for pathogen growth, beheading stage, valuation stage, every step control measures can be exist, but not effectively control the significant hazard. So, 
this second question is also s then the third question is control at this step is necessary to prevent eliminate or reduce the hazards to the consumers third question third question is no because the third question is control at this step is necessary to prevent eliminate or reduce the hazards to the consumers third question no because the product is subsequent cooking step will follow the product is subsequent cooking step will follow the product intention is to be eaten as a raw so the cooking step will eliminate the pathogen so effective control at cooking step only so the third question also the answer is no the for pathogen growth or for pathogen contamination the third question answer is no so the third question is not a ccp even draw iqf frozen aquaculture streams also for pathogen contamination and pathogen growth at ramen receiving step is not a ccp because the product is to be cooked by the consumer before eaten so the consumer will cook the product the third question is control at this step is necessary to prevent or eliminate or reduce the hazards to the consumer if raw frozen streams no because the consumer will further cook the product he will cook the product before consume if cooked frozen streams raw metal deceiving stage for pathogen growth or cont pathogen contamination is a significant hazard yes yeah, significant hazard yeah does the controls exist at this step raw metal deceiving stage yes raw metal deceiving stage also exists grading also exists valids and every step also pathogen growth controls can be applied but the controls cannot effectively prevent or cannot effectively eliminate the potential or significant hazard because the product cooking step subsequent cooking step will eliminate the significant hazard that is the best example of not a ccp for a pathogen contamination or growth aquaculture streams raw frozen or cooked frozen and we will take chemical aquaculture drugs at raw metal receiving stage does this step involve a hazard of sufficient risk and severity to warrant its control at raw metal receiving stage yes because suppliers may add drugs to survive to maintain to prevent the mortality during farming so these drugs are carcinogenic may be some are harmful to the health so this is the hazard is a significant hazard at raw metal receiving stage you take the supplier declaration regarding non usage of prohibited drugs okay at raw metal receiving stage the hazard is sufficient risk and severity warrant its control yes the first question is yes and the second question does a control measures for the hazards exist at this step yes what are the control measures supplier declaration supplier declaration regarding non usage of prohibited drugs or aquaculture drugs so second question also s and third question is control at this step is necessary to prevent eliminate or reduce the hazards to the consumers yes supplier declaration here is the prevent yes the controls will be prevented at raw metal receiving stage so that is why raw metal receiving stage aquaculture drugs are the critical control points for streams and raw metal receiving stage for streams allergen let us go through the questionnaire does this step involve a hazard of sufficient risk and severity to warrant its control first question is s yes. and the second question does a control measure for the hazard exist at this step allergens ramil receiving stage allergens control measures exist at that at that step for aquaculture systems no control measures not required the subsequent labeling step will follow so the second question is answer is no then is control measures necessary at the raw material receiving stage again no then it is not a ccp this is how we can assess the significant hazard is a critical control point or not at particular process step so 
this is the tool ccp decision tree this is the set of sequence of questionnaires to determine the significant hazard comes under critical control point at particular step or not that's all about the video friends in my previous videos i have discussed about as a principle one part one and part two also i have given the link below please watch if you like the content and context of the video like it and for regular updates subscribe my channel and stay tuned thank you and bye bye